First, let's look at what would happen if you have a relatively high ping without lag compensation. As the enemy ran past, I fired directly into them, but the shot didn't register. This is because of networking delays. First, ping, which is the time it takes for packets of information to travel from a player's computer to the server and back. The enemy walks into my crosshair, and the server receives that information half of his ping later. The server then sends that information to my client, which takes half of my ping. Next, interpolation, which causes me to see the enemy after an additional tick. After I finally see the enemy under my crosshair, I fire. This information takes another half of my ping to reach the server, at which point the server registers the shot. These delays add up to the differences between when I see the enemy, where the server sees the enemy, and where the enemy sees himself. Now we'll see what happens with lag compensation on. The shot is fired and after a delay it registers as a hit. Then after another delay there's blood spatter. What's happening is the server receives the packet that a shot was fired and then looks at the latency on that packet and factors that in along with interpolation to infer on which tick my client fired a shot. The server then goes back to that time and checks where all of the players were. It sees that a player was where I was aiming when I fired and registers a hit on that player at that position. After another half of my ping, my computer receives the packet from the server informing my client that the enemy target was hit, and that's when blood spatter comes out. The delay on the server registering the shot is why you can get hit after you've already gone around a corner on your screen. The enemy player's client doesn't see you go around the corner until after ping and interp. It might be frustrating when it happens to you, but just keep in mind that that's lag compensation working as it should, and that the enemy only saw you for as long as you peeked on your own screen. The whole peak just occurred after a delay on his screen. Finally, it's worth noting that lag compensation doesn't determine who shot first. It only determines if you aimed correctly. The first shot to reach the server is the one that registers first, so the player with the lower ping has an advantage in this regard. When you see a player run smoothly across your screen, what you're really seeing is an interpolated estimation of their position between ticks. To explain, let's first imagine there's absolutely no ping between the player you see, the server, and yourself. So the only delay between perspectives is entirely interpolation. I've exaggerated the delay you'll see in-game by 20 times to make this point easier to illustrate. As the player runs, your client is updated on his position once a tick. On a matchmaking server, that'd be 64 times a second, or about 16 ms. The client doesn't render the player in the latest known position, however. Instead, it holds off for one tick, so that it can smoothly animate the player between the last two known positions. This is called interpolation. Without interp, the positions of players as rendered by your game would jump from one tick to the next. And since the refresh rate of your graphics card, monitor, and server tick aren't all synchronized, the motion could become unsmooth. If you found this video helpful, please consider a like and subscribe.